Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For the new people over here, I'm Maria and I am a first year PhD student at the University of Birmingham. If you haven't already seen it, uh, do go and check out my very first video that I've uploaded on this channel because there I talk about who I am and what I do. As you all know, it's quarantine time now, so a lot of people are working from home. As somebody who is 100% lab-based, uh, I've been quite affected by the whole quarantine and COVID-19 situation. As of March 20th, the University of Birmingham have entered the restricted operations mode. And what that means is that uh, only essential lab work can take place. So my research had to be stopped. And the same goes for a lot of other scientists. They had to stop all of their ongoing research and start working from home. So that's what I'm doing now. At the moment, the university is officially closed until the 1st of June, but that is not guaranteed because it all depends on how the COVID-19 situation goes. So a lot of people are wondering what you can do as a research scientist at home. So I can tell you all about that in this video. As I said earlier, my PhD is 100% lab-based. However, there are things that I can do at home and I can do them quite productively. I think a lot of academics can relate to this one. So the things I will list in this video is something that I am doing, but also a lot of other people are probably doing something along those lines. Number one, academic writing. For me, that means writing my thesis. Quarantine time is actually the perfect time to catch up on that. For other people, that could mean writing papers or writing grant applications. The main sections in the PhD thesis are introduction, materials and methods, results and discussion. Usually these are broken down into chapters. I've already started writing some of my introduction and I've already made a start on the materials and methods section because I like to write those as I go along. It would be very, very difficult to remember what you've done in the first year of your PhD unless you've already been making notes of that. So I decided that this is the time where I can finalize the materials and methods section for this PhD year so far. And I thought it would be great to start writing my introduction again. The main thing that I've already started writing in my introduction is the background behind some of the work that I've done already in this first year of the PhD. I've actually already got some results, so I can make a start on the results chapters as well. Another thing that I have to write as a postgraduate researcher is a annual review report. So this is something that all postgraduate researchers are required to do. Annual review report is basically a mini thesis. So it consists of introduction, brief materials and methods, uh, results that you've got so far and the discussion and the plans for the future work. That report is actually due on the 1st of June, which is perfect because that's when universities should officially reopen. Once I've submitted that report, I will then have a formal review of my first year. However, I have no idea how or when that's going to take place. I hope the university will reopen on the 1st of June. I miss the lab, I have a lot of plans and I really want to go back to my experiments. Anyway, number two, literature and planning. So again, quarantine is the perfect time to catch up on any literature and also it's a great time to start planning your future work. In the first year of my PhD, I managed to get some really exciting data. So what I'd like to do now is to sit down and plan what I would like to do with that data and based on the data, what my future work is going to be. I've already got some plans for when I come back into the lab, but obviously now that I'm going to be at home for the next few months, I will be reading more about my project and I might generate some more ideas about what I'd like to do in the future. Number three, finalizing tasks that have been hanging in the air for quite a while. My supervisor, myself and various other people at the university have been working together on this one online immunology course. So now we have more time to actually sit down and finalize all the content for the course so that when we come back, we can actually finish it all and then it can hopefully be launched in September. But that depends on how the quarantine situation goes. Number four, catching up with colleagues. Obviously now we can no longer meet up with each other, but what we did in my lab was continue doing the lab meetings on the same day that we normally do in the week. And also we carried on with our one-to-one -one meetings with a supervisor as we normally do. And that to me personally is very important because that helps me understand if I'm on the right track for writing my thesis. It also helps me stay motivated during the quarantine time. And it's just nice to kind of, you know, catch up with people in general just to see how they're doing. And number five, hobbies, interests and anything that is not work related. I think it's really important to kind of just keep up with your normal life during the quarantine. 
Obviously, everybody is different and everybody's got different hobbies and interests outside of work. So I'm going to carry on with my karate practice. I'm going to carry on with my drawing because I love art and I love to draw in my spare time. In terms of starting something new, I have started this YouTube channel. So I'm going to keep up with my research diaries, Instagram, as well as continuing to provide some video content for everyone. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, I will provide the link for you in the description box below. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.